official seek to reassure public after world's largest hydroelectric dam nears capacity amid heavy floods. Extreme floods have hit China's Three Georges Dam, which recorded the largest inflow of water in its history, prompting officials to assure the public it would not be breached. Inflows to the world's largest hydroelectric dam reached 75 meters liters of water a second, according to state media. By Thursday morning, 11 outlets of the dam had been opened to discharge 49.2 meters liters of water a second, the largest release since its construction. After two months of heavy floods across central and southwest China, officials have promised the dam can withstand the flows. A breach of the dam, a controversial and unprecedented feat of engineering along the Yangtze River, would be embarrassing for China, which took 12 years to build the megaproject, displacing millions and submerging swathes of land. The Three Georges Dam, which could handle inflows of about 98.8 meters liters a second, is already approaching its capacity. Officials expect water levels in the reservoir. His dam was built to withstand a water level of 175 meters, to reach 165.5 meters on Saturday. The flooding is predicted to last about five days. This week the Ministry of Water Resources said the standard of construction meant 111 large reservoirs upstream from the dam could help lessen pressure on the structure. The standard of construction of the dam is high, and it can resist large floods it said. Upstream from the dam, officials in the city of Chongqing, in Sichuan province, evacuated almost 300,000 residents before the flooding. On Thursday, levels along the Yangtze near Chongqing reached heights not seen since 1981, when the country experienced its worst floods in a century, leaving 1.5 million homeless. In Chongqing, roads, bridges, parks and the main highway in the commercial district were flooded, affecting 260,000 people and damaging at least 20,000 businesses, according to officials. Images showed flooding had submerged three-meter-high signs and buildings several stories high. Firefighters were using boats to transport trapped residents. The flooding threatens to derail the country's fragile recovery from the COVID-19 crisis. The outbreak has caused an estimated 179 billion yuan in losses and displaced more than 4 million people. The Chinese leader toured Anhui province this week, another badly hit area where floods had eased slightly. Xi Jinping stood atop a floodgate and visited soldiers, declaring, I have always been concerned about the people in flood-stricken areas.